today I am going to show you a third grade lesson on painting self-portraits. Uh, we are starting out with painting our skin color today and we're using the Crayola skin colors. We have the multicultural pack and I chose the first color and I'm going to dip my brush into it just so that the paint gets on the bristles and then I'll wipe that extra paint on the inside of the cup. And then I'm going to start up by my hairline and very carefully start painting in wherever I would have skin color. So I'm painting along my hairline, I'm gonna paint my forehead. Now I already drew in a nose, but I'm actually going to be painting right over the top of the nose because my nose is the same color as my skin. So for my students, what they're going to do is when that dries another day, we're going to draw that in with a Sharpie. So today we're just going right over the top of the nose. I'm gonna to have to go really carefully around my eyes. I'm also going to be painting my ears because those are the same color as my skin. And I'm going to be painting my neck. All right, one of the next things that we are going to do after we're done with our skin is paint our lips. And I have made one color for everybody. It's kind of like a mauve color, like a pinkish. So I'm gonna really carefully, I dipped the brush, swiped it on the side, that helps get nice flat bristles. And then I'm super carefully painting over my lips. Try not to mix into the skin color because I'm going to share this with all the other artists in the room. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then when I'm done with my lips, I move on to the next center station. And I'm actually going to do my eyes and I have blue eyes, so I'm dipping into the blue, swiping on the inside of the cup. I don't need much paint on my brush. Those eyes are small. So I'm actually painting the inside part, that little circle part inside. That's the part you're painting. You're gonna leave the other part, those little triangle parts on the outside white. So I'm painting that blue. So that's the color of my eyes. The next thing we are going to be doing is adding our hair color. And I know that people have lots of different colors in their hair, or it might be mixed up colors, or they might have highlights. But, and I do too, but I'm just going to use the closest color to my hair, and most of my hair is brown. So I chose just the plain brown, and I'm going to carefully now paint all the way around my hair. So I'm painting inside the lines that I drew for my hair. And I'm gonna finish up that. And then when I'm done with my hair, I'm going to carefully, I can't see them anymore, paint my eyebrows in, because my eyebrows should be the same color as my hair. So I carefully painted in eyebrows, and then I'm gonna work on finishing up painting in my hair color. Now that I finished my hair, I have some other things I might be working on, like my shirt or the background, but we're going to be working on those next time. So my students will be cleaning up and putting their paintings on the drying rack. This is a third grade lesson on painting a self-portrait.